In this video, we're going to be creating four logos for One Minute Cricket and they will look like this. However, we're going to be trying a new look when it comes to a 3D logo mock-up to see if we can create a look that looks like that, which is kind of different to what we used to. But let's jump in. Please join me. Welcome content creators and entrepreneurs to African Multi Design. My name is Zaneli if we're meeting for the very first time. Today's video is inspired by God of Cricket. He does this awesome looking one minute cricket that he shares on his um, YouTube channel. So he asked us to give him ideas on uh, his logo when it comes to one minute cricket for God of Cricket. So what we're going to be doing, I, uh, you know, when I looked at his, I thought, oh my goodness, what can we do? And then I ended up with four ideas. It was so cool. It was actually coming. It was fast and coming after one after another and then I had to stop. So I stopped at four. So we're going to jump in now and start with the first one that looks like that. And today we're going to try a different um, 3D logo mock-up. Instead of going with our usual black, um, there are options out there on websites like FreePick, and I'll be sharing the link on the description below. But you can go right ahead and play around and see which one you eventually go with that you like. So let's jump in and create the first logo. So we're going to search for the logo Canva on Canva, and then we're going to create a blank logo and then we're gonna start designing. So once it's up and running, let me make this a little bit big so we can all see. You're going to go to elements and then you're going to look for lines and shapes under graphics. You're gonna go lines and shapes and then you're gonna click on graphics and then you're going to scroll down until you get that nice round that has color in it. If you're gonna go with a black background, if you're gonna go with a white background 3D logo, it's going to change it to white anyway. But you know, you do whatever makes you happy with your brand and you run with that. So you just uh, copy it and you size it nicely to the size that you want and you center it nicely like that. And then next you're going to add text. So you're gonna to go to text and then you're going to add text. Oh, I wanted to show you a nice trick that I've learned the other day. If you wanted to add text on Canva to save time, you just press T and then Canva adds text for you. How cool is that? And then you just add your text over there. So I thought we can make it one minute on top. Uh, and then at the bottom of the page, we can then call it cricket. So let's do that. And we're gonna go make it like that. We're gonna change the color to a bright red. Let's go with nice bright red. That one. And we're happy with that. And then we're gonna change the font to Hey Gotcha. Just to make things fresh and funky. And then it's going to look like that. You can make it a little bit big and then you can size it like that. And then you control C or CMDC if you are on iPhone or Mac. And then you bring the bottom of the page or the text to the bottom of the page. Highlight that and then you make your the rest of the text create. How do you spell cricket? Cri, cri, cat, like that. Zanelli. Okay, awesome. Now you are happy with both the fonts and the text that you've added over there. So you just want to make it curve. How you do that, you're going to click on effects and then you're gonna scroll down until you find the shape and you click on curve and then it curves one way. You can click and drag it to a little bit the top 
but if you wanted to uh, make it a little bit bigger you can but for now we're happy with that just make it nice and big like that and then we're going to make the cricket at the bottom also curve so it's curving the wrong way we want it to curve the other way so you just scroll at the bottom of the page here and then you make it curve the other way like that that's how you um, change direction of your text if you want to make them form a line with your round shape now that's done you're going to go back to your elements and you're going to look for cricket because we're looking for a cricket uh, stump and i want everything cricket you can look for all or you can go straight to graphics and then you can scroll through there until you find the one you want i want this one and i want to use the stump that's my first idea that i had to change stumps i know cricket lovers love their stump and we would change color for that and make it gray and then the ball i want it to be prominent so i'm going to look for a cricket ball and i'm gonna look for a nice big red one like that and i will make it a little bit smaller um control z to undo i just want the ball but i don't want it to be that big i just want it to cover the gray ball and be prominent like that and it's like watch out <laughs> and then the design is done once you're happy with everything in your color and um the text in everything done and dusted you're going to click download and you're gonna ask canva to make it transparent if you can make it transparent because you don't have the pro account then by all means go and use a remove.bg website where you can change um, the pictures and make them transparent because if we are going to make it transparent and convert it into a 3d logo on photopea photo p wants it as transparent now we're going to jump to photo p and we're going to click on open computer because what we're doing now we're going to be loading the 3d mock-up and we're going to use that white goldish background psd file that you can download from freepeak.com so while it's loading like that i just want to show you if you go to freepeak.com and you search for 3D logo mockups, then um, freepeak.com will give you all resources, including free resources that you can download and you can use for different kinds of designs that you have. This one is also kind, kind of nice. So you can play around and download it. And there are free options. There are paid options as well. And it's just a nice variety instead of using just one. So we're going to jump back to photo P and there we go. Our 3D um, mockup has loaded. We will double click on the logo. We will then hide our text by clicking on the eye. And then we're going to go file open in place. And we're going to look for that file of ours that we've just downloaded that one minute cricket. That we've just downloaded and then it loads we click and we drag we size it nicely and then we then change it to a smart object now it's converted the next thing or the last thing that you would do is you would click on this logo mockup in panel uh, field and again you would wait a moment while it's converting the, the 2d um, design into a 3d design and there we go converted one minute cricket and one minute cricket this is the first one you must tell us if you like this one or the other one but it looks like this next thing you're going to export it as a png and you've got your first logo let's jump into idea number two i tell you this uh god of crickets channel your one minute cricket you have got me riled up here <laughs> anyway so the next we're not looking for template we're looking for elements we're going to look for one so you'd search for this number one 
and then we're looking for a graphic which is one and we're gonna scroll until we find this nice graphic that I found um, I'm just gonna go find it on my likes because that's where I've saved it but you can scroll through and go find this one it's under graphics you see when you go on three docs it's a number one illustration under graphics if you're looking to do if your channel is one minute cricket <laughs> anyway so there's your number one the next you would like to add the square shape so another trick I've learned if you want to add the square shape you just type uh, R yes and then it loads the square shape for you so we would like to have the square shape we typed our R it has added it so we just tweak it like that so that it is in line with this blue or this dark blue over there so you align it like that you change color and you make it navy blue and then just push it underneath the um, the one and scroll it so that it is aligned and it's it doesn't look undesigned and looks weird you're going to send the position to the back so that it blends in with the one nice next I know uh, with cricket there's always a crowd so under your elements you can search for crowd and look for um, graphics with crowds in order to put a crowd in because that's what I thought at cricket there's always crowd and people cheering and people having so much fun that's what I thought we're gonna get a crowd and we're gonna load the crowd to the logo that's just another idea that you know I thought it'd be fun to have a crowd joining our logo and be and making the crowd part part of the channel um, for God of cricket nice so once we've loaded the crowd when you click and you highlight the crowd you can change the color of the people that are in the crowd so I would like to change the prominent guy and make him maybe a light gray and then uh, the red I would like the one to be aligned with the red so I'll click on the one and then click on the um, uh, color pink and change that to be the same as the crowd's um, color so that it blends in and it's one and it looks nice next I thought this guy looks like he's in a crowd and he's catching a cricket ball so let's try and make him you know when you are in cricket and you're catching a cricket ball and uh, it gets so exciting and they show a picture of you in on TV because the ball ended up in the crowd I thought we can do something like that quite fun but um, let's see make it like he's catching the ball or he's trying to catch the ball so let's add text before we jump in and we do the 3d mock-up we click on add text or we press t and then we type minute one minute cricket cricket like that and then we're going to change the font and we're gonna look for the code bro code pro bold and then we're going to change the color and we make that also in line with the audience and we call it the one minute cricket in um in the logo itself because it's like one and then we're going to download and then go to photo p and then make a 3d logo out, out of this one so that would be logo logo idea number two let's go and do logo idea number three um, by now this process you know so this time we're going to achieve logo idea number three that would be the big gold one with a fireball of a cricket ball and it would be like one minute cricket sort of like ironically you don't have to have words every time on your design you could play with the irony of oh it's a one minute cricket ball on fire kind of a, a design so let's achieve that one so this one we're also going to look for a nice one not on templates but on elements and then we're going to find that big one so I had saved it to save us time and there's your uh, big one 
and you'd make that nice and big and then you'd add with an R with an R you add your uh, shape that's going to be going with the one and you make it align with the big one and you send it to the back and then it becomes same kind of design you change color and you make that a bright yellow so again with this you go cricket graphic and then you find the ball that flies in like that so if you would like the one color to have the color as the flying cricket ball you'd select your flying cricket ball and then you would choose the color of the ball or the fire ball that's there so we're also going to change the color of the the graphic that we have at the bottom of the page and now it looks as one cohesive design and the last thing that we're going to do we're going to add text because this is one minute cricket so we're going to change that to minute and we're going to just leave the big minute as like that and we're going to change text to code pro bold and then we're going to move our text to over there and we're going to align it so that it forms part of the shape that we added and we and then we're going to change the color so that it forms color as the cricket ball and that's your third design you're done you download set as transparent and there's your third design we're going to jump in on the last design, which is this one. I've done that one. After you've converted it to a 3D, it will look like that. The last one also uses the fireball, the cricket fireball, but it has a decorative border around it. And that's the last one we're going to do. But there are so many. Dude, your channel has so much potential. I could be sitting here creating hundreds, hundred logos. <laughs> anyway, again, you open your logo, um, Canva, and then by now you you know you now know. We're gonna look for that fireball, and we're gonna use this fireball as a O. We're gonna play around with the graphic and make this fireball a O, and then we add in. An E as a one to have like an, a nice logo with a twist if you want to put it like that so our N is made same size as the ball and then we add an E that would also be same size like that one so you can make it blend to each other like that and then you change the color so that it follows the ball and then nicely done and then the last text you would add you go T to add your text at the bottom to say that this is a one minute cricket then I thought we could play with the spots world font because cricket is more spots and then you could change the text to one minute cricket and then it looks like that so you make everything like one and you size it quite nicely like that and then you change the color of the text to yellow 
And the last thing that you would then do is you put in that border that I mentioned. So here's the border. We're going to change the color of the border and make it a bright red. So what you would then do is to send the border to backward so that it's back and then you can size it nicely so that it fits the design and then you would save it as uh, without save it um, with a transparent background and then jump into photo p and then change it to a 3d logo so eventually it should look like that you can play around with it see the other one that i did the minute cricket was in gray so you can play with colors so that it suits the way that you do business. So you would have seen that a lot of my designs um, I've been using the text and I've been using the, the Canva Pro. So if you would like to support the channel, you're welcome to click on the link below. And if you are ready to convert to Pro, but you can still do a lot with the free version. However, it has made me such a better designer when I've moved over to Pro. Thank you for joining me. I do enjoy the time that we spend together. Put in the comments if you'd like us to feature your channel or your social media platform or whatever you want us to do together as a community. We can do it together. So put in the comments. We'll, we'll do it together next week on Saturday or Sunday. And we um, grow together as the community of entrepreneurs and content creators. Do subscribe. Do like the channel. I do appreciate your time. I will see you next time.